What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to finally be able to bring you footage and information on the brand new Spearborn class that we got to test with Blizzard. So today's video, I'm gonna do just an overview of the entire video. We got some more coming out with a, a much more detail, but this one's just gonna be an overarching overview, overarching, I'm saying overview too much, but this is gonna be an overview of the class itself, okay? I have a lot of footage here, so it was really tough to kind of cut up and do all these things, so I figure I would just take you through it and just kind of show you some things here. But we have the spirit born class, okay? We started out with this. We got four different build types to use. The spirit born is a class from Nahantu, which you guys all know. This is a, a nostalgia pullback from Diablo 2, which is very, very cool. So the spirit born is going to have, if I can find it here, four different spirits okay the the class is all about the spirit born we're gonna have four different spirit types that you guys get to use and play around with and it's gonna imbue your skills in a very powerful way so you have the centipede spirit born which focuses on poison damage and debuffs you got the jaguar spirit born which adopts an aggressive fighting style which is very flashy and it's very very fast you got the gorilla spirit born which is a defensive fighter this is basically your tank and then you got the Eagle Spirit Born, which is a high agile master of mobility with precise attacks. I'm going to tell you right now, the Eagle was my favorite throughout the playtesting, but we'll talk about that in a second. So with the class itself, you guys get to see a little bit of the footage here. I'm just kind of breaking some stuff down. Um, I'm going to bring it to you this in real time instead of trying to cut up something weird. But uh, the build has so many very cool abilities, which is very very awesome in like in tune with a particular spirit okay so you have all of these different things that are going to make your builds really really powerful we're really imbuing the power of the spirit and nature and these things and no this isn't going to be kind of like a witch doctor in any way this plays more like a monk it plays more like a monk you can see some of the footage here you're just kind of dashing around you're using all of your abilities which is very very cool i hope we can get rid of that small thing on the bottom there but yeah the class is very very cool very very fast uh it's one of the most versatile um, classes that are going to be in Diablo 4. Now, this is just from testing. We got to play at level 30, which is very, very low. So we didn't get a chance to peek into any of the Paragon or really the high level nodes, etc. or gear pieces. We got about three gear pieces each, which really makes the builds, um, you know, a little bit more powerful. But we didn't we only got new powers pertaining to the brand new season uh, and in the expansion. So we weren't using any other powers that are old ones, right? Like the generics or ones that are already in the game. This is all brand new powers that makes each of these builds really, really work. So you can see I um, the spirit hall here. We got a brand new spirit hall. We're going to talk about this more in detail in uh, another video but the spear hall is where you get to choose two different spirits okay you're gonna have your primary spirit here which is the eagle and you have a power that's granted with it so casting an eagle skill grants two storm feathers up to a maximum of eight when you evade all of them are fired and you deal damage making enemies vulnerable all skills are now also eagle skills and then you have a second spirit uh which is jaguar or at least in this build it's jaguar Maximum ferocity is increased by one. Gain one stack of ferocity whenever you kill a boss or enemy. These powers change whether they're a, they are a primary or a secondary spirit. And you can swap between the four however you want, which is pretty cool. Um, now, when we get into the skill tree here, the skill tree is... I At first, I thought the skill tree was going to be a little bit more difficult to use with all the different uh, spirits that are in here. But your powers are very, very strong. Okay, your powers are very, very strong, and you get a lot of, uh, which is kind of like a new, it's not a new mechanic, but it's something we've seen more with the Spirit Born more than anything else, which is um, having charges on your skills. So you're able to use multiple skills back to back to back, as opposed to using the skill with a cooldown. Now, they they're, the skills still have cooldowns, but these charges make playing the, the abilities just so much better. Like, the builds flow so much better with each other it's pretty incredible um the spearborn class is from nahantu okay 
So you really get to just choose everything right away. You're going to be able to use all of your new spirit or spirit borns at level 15. You go do the quest line and you'll be fine to go. But the 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 class was really, really fun. The class was super, super fun. And I don't want to make the video too super long, but um, the class is very adaptable. So if you thought, think about it in a party, the, the class is going to be able to do fill any kind of role, whether it's a a tanky role whether it's a support role whether it's a a mobile role whether it's a super like dps attacking role it's going to be able to fit all of those things no problem whatsoever and you guys can see here just from the the footage that i know we're at level 30 and it's kind of hard to really gauge how powerful the class can be but we're just like wrecking through all of this overworld stuff now i am going to take you down into a, a dungeon but I do want to showcase some of the skills here and some of the... Uh, you can kind of see the overall map of the brand new area with the Spearborn. So now we're in this dungeon down here. And I just want to show you some boss fighting and some elites. Because the the bo these bosses were really, really cool to fight. Uh, and I'm using multiple different uh, skills here. We're using mainly Jaguar with some Eagle. And we're taking down all of these bosses, which isn't very hard. You can see that, like, the cooldowns and stuff and the charges on our abilities. We just get to keep using them over and over again, which is pretty cool. Um, and we are just dicing them up with the Jaguar. It's so strong. So, so strong. A stupid devoted champion was a real bugger with that guy that was kind of, like, phasing me in and out. Kind of stopped me from attacking. <laughs> So annoying. He was protected for such a long time. <laughs> but the Spiritborn class does some serious, serious damage. This class was unbelievable to play. I think it's going to be so different than everything else. And it's it's such a powerful build. Such a powerful uh, class. So now looking at some of the key passives here. We got Adaptive Stance, which is pretty insane the base spirit of a skill grants eagle so whenever you use one of these spirit uh born skills you get this applied so being able to go back and forth between multiple skills just applies these and then more importantly casting one of a different spirit swaps to the new bonus and then you get increased damage by 30 percent for five seconds which is absolutely insane this is when you're using adaptive stance this is a permanent buff that you can pretty much use if you have multiple skills which is just kind of kind of insane with the class there's so much adaptability with the class then you got noxus resonance this is the centipede is absolutely it's probably the most broken spirit born out of all of them uh but noxus resonance your critical strikes cause enemies to burst 100 percent of the total poison um on them as poison damage and to those around them absolutely insane it's so so strong so so strong it's so powerful and then uh, I want to just showcase the the other power that we're using for the gorilla. These the animation on a lot of these powers is so strong, it's insane. It's so so strong. So now we're using like part of the gorilla. I think we're going down to do do this fight. The gorilla was really cool. The gorilla felt a little underwhelming because we were such low level with thorns, but in the end game, guys, trust me, the gorilla is going to be pretty insane. So yeah, overview, Spearborn class, the most adaptable class in the game, the most versatile class in the game. You got four different spirits that you're gonna be able to use and customize to your doing. And a lot of these spirits um, re are act with each other. So for example, having Gorilla with Centipede and Thorns with poison damage is very, very powerful. Um, having you know Eagle with high crit, critical strike chance with jaguar and the attack speed makes that build a very high dps glass cannon so there's a lot of ways to interchange the different spirits and just make them very very powerful right um now one thing that i do want to mention here in the overview if we can pull up my inventory really fast if i can pull up my inventory is one thing that i do want to mention so you guys don't go crazy when you guys finally get to see everything um so in here in the powers 
okay? You do notice that there is two slots to the Spiritborn. So there is a main hand and an off hand. There's slots for them. We only got two handers. Now, it has been told that the reason that the, the Spiritborn is only gonna have a two hander or it appears that they're just gonna have a two-hander, uh, is that they did do that and there will be a huge damage increase or scale with the fact that you're using a two-hander all the time as opposed to a main hand and offhand, etc. It is also kind of a bummer that we didn't get three weapons here, but this is just kind of how it's gonna be so that way you guys can kind of see how everything works um, with, the, with the class itself. So, uh, yeah. Just to keep that a heads up, because I know you guys are going to see the Spearborn, um, a lot of videos for this, and it is just a two-hander, so keep that in mind. But yeah, guys, I hope this is uh, a really cool video. You guys get to see a lot of this gameplay and just see uh, the Spearborn just kind of dominate everything. We're going to have a couple more videos here on the channel, breaking some more stuff down um, from the reveal. So guys, make sure to stay tuned for that. Like this video if you guys really did enjoy it as the gorilla is just smashing absolutely everything. Uh, make sure to subscribe, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the Spiritborn class. If you guys have any additional questions, please let me know down in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay gaming, guys. See you next time.